Hello. This video shows the usage of the ALM Octane REST API. For example, um, I have two test cases here and I would like to duplicate uh, this test case. Such a functionality doesn't exist yet in Octane, so either we could wait for next release or something, um, or we just uh, do this our own by workflow customization. So to implement this, I have added an additional user-defined field to the manual tests. And this contains a user-defined list of actions. So I also have a duplicate action here. If I select duplicate and save, this will trigger my workflow rule in the background. It's now running and uh, duplicating the test case. You can see the, uh, the workflow picking up this 105014 uh, test case. Um, this is the test case I have selected and it now just uh, duplicated the test case and you see this is the new duplicate uh, with the underscore copy. Um, and it's just the same, it just copied all the fields and also the manual test steps. How is this implemented? As I said, I was uh, using a workflow uh, customization. So I go to the uh, customization area. Um, first of all, you need, of course, this additional action list, uh, but also a custom rule that uh, listens on this list. Um, so I have here my lists um, and I have uh, defined an additional list with um, ca called uh, actions. Um, so <clears throat> you see the choose an action, duplicate, recycle, run. This is the user defined list and it's included in the uh, entity manual test. Um, so I have it as a user defined field here as one of my user defined fields. We have the action user defined field and the rule that listens on changes, especially when the action is equal to duplicate it is calling a REST web service, which is running on my local machine. I'm using Octane on SaaS environment. So on my local machine, let's switch to the local machine here. Um, I have uh, implemented a web service and this uses the integration bridge. All you need to do is download the integration bridge from Octane, install it and type in Octane URL and uh, credentials. So it authenticates against uh, Octane and listens for requests from Octane. So even if my rule, yeah, maybe you've seen in the rule, it says localhost. Um, of course, this is not locally running, not locally on the SaaS environment. This is my local machine. Um, so the workflow rule um, connects to um, or sends this request to my bridge and the bridge, which runs on this machine and connects to the uh, Node.js web service I've implemented. And this does all the magic. In the background, you see the code for the, um, the workflow JavaScript. So the, the, I just opened this workflow JavaScript. It's a simple Node.js web service which handles requests and responses, uh, passes the response, um, extracts the uh, entity, um, so the, the test ID in this case, this was the message you have seen when I've selected the duplicate action, it just displays the test ID and calls Octane duplicate test, which is a function I have implemented. Um, this duplicate test function connects back to Octane, does a login and then is reading the manual test and the script, creating a new test, appending the underscore copy to the test name. Okay, you have to remove some fields like ID, etc. These are uh, in the new test because they are, these are created by the system and should not be passed to the new test. And then you just simply post the new test um, to Octane by using the REST API. You can try these things uh, in the interactive API client um, of Octane. So for example, here in manual tests, we have get single manual test. And this was the test ID I was using. And you can simply try uh, the call. And now you get, you see, this is my manual test. 
test if finance status is shown, blah, blah, blah. So this is the, the test I was uh, using and duplicating. Back to the tests. So you can see here, this is the show finance status and this was the description that the test if finance status, blah, blah. This is exactly the test which you can get by the interactive API client. This is quite useful to find out how the API works and then you just need to translate it to JavaScript or whatever scripting language you like to prefer to implement your own uh, web service and implement your own actions. Yeah, so this is how you can implement any sort of extra functionality you're missing or integrations to other tools you would like to have. Um, quite simple. Um, I really like the Node.js. It doesn't, of course, it doesn't need to be Node.js, but uh, yeah, it's a quite easy way with few lines you have and your own, created your own web service and yeah, then simply um, can can read entities. This is reading the test. You see, I'm passing the uh, using test slash test ID. So this is the same as in the uh, URL on um, the interactive API, cl API client. Um, it's using here manual test slash entity ID um, as a path to extract the manual test information that's been returned as a JSON data structure and then you can easily pass it uh, in JavaScript and, and get the um, yeah the values you would like to have and, and do with what whatever you want with it. So <clears throat> in my script it just said manual test slash entity ID because I had this uh, as a default uh, for all requests. Of course you need to specify the shared space and the workspace you're um, working on and uh, yeah so this was just uh, defined as a default in my script so that's I do not need to type this each time. Okay so that's a short overview on the power of the REST API. Um, good starting point as I said in the headman view. Use the interactive API cl uh, client. You need to create a, um, an access token um, so the authentication is not done by username and ID. There's an API access token. You can uh, generate those in, in customization area and then simply start using it. It's asked for a client ID and uh, uh, the access token. So here you, this is my client ID, client secret. Um, this is actually not a user, but a token just used for the API authentication authentication purposes so you do not need any extra user on the uh, user list or technical do not need any technical account to access the API okay so that's a short overview on how to implement uh, rest uh, web services and workflow steps with the octane rest API I hope you find did find this useful